Hey everybody, this is a continuation of the Introduction to Linux course where we've so far installed Rocky Linux, which is a RHEL clone, and we've created a user, a local user here. So let's so let's let's now try to get off this console. That's my usually first goal when I create a Linux box. I want to get out of the console. I don't want to be in here because it's hard to paste in here. I want to get in, just be able to SSH right in here and, and do what I need to do. So to do that, we've created that user. Let's go to, we're going to go to VI sudo. So sudo is, is how you become an administrative user, just as a regular user. It gives you permissions to become an admin user. So instead of logging in as root, you do this, you type in su and then the command, and then that allows you to run it as, as a root user, or as an administrative user. So that, that's what we want to do now. So let's take a look here at this. Um, what we want to do is just take a look and see what group we want to add ourselves to. So you can see root has all the privileges. All right, so wheel, people in the group wheel to run all commands. So right there, there you see that. So what we, what we can do is add this user to the wheel group, and that will give permissions to run everything. So let's just get out of here. We didn't change anything. And I'll get into VI and all of that. Um, so we, we just want to add this user to a group. So to add this user to that wheel group, we're going to use user mod dash a well we can actually look you can do append or we could do dash a and we'll do dash groups so there's usually a single dash i can't go back here let's uh See, this is why I want to get out of this uh, console because it's it's difficult to type. Um, user mod, so we can just do either use dash a or dash dash append dash capital G, and we're going to add to the wheel wheel group, and that's going to be Chris R. So now. Now Chris R is added to that group. And we can do, we can see that in, if we do a cat, Etsy. And this is another thing I, I don't have in here. I can't use my uh, tab complete, which is a pain. So there we go. So there's Chris R. And there you see the wheel group has Chris R in it. Okay, so that's all we want to do. So that, that should allow us to SSH in and, and do everything we need to do. So this is, let's minimize this. What we'll do is we'll go to the console. Now we're in a Linux Docker container. Um, we are on IP adder. If you type IP adder, you can see the addresses. Yep. And we're on 10.10.200.10. .10. And if you recall, we set this to 10.10.200.90. So we're going to SSH as Chris R. And just to show you, I think root should not be able to. Root at 10.10.200.90. Now, if we try this, it's going to say, 
We're going to say, yes, we want to accept the fingerprint. It's going to let us put the password in. Is it going to let us log in? I don't think it should. Permission denied. Okay, so that's because we did not allow it. So that's a new thing in 9, where root is not any more, not any longer allowed to just log in. So let's log in as Chris R. And that should allow us, and there we are. So now we're logged in. And now we can do, we can do commands. So what I like to do, I do an L, ls, that should list everything in here, ls dash L. And if you're in, if you're in a rel, it should have an alias of LL, which should give you that ls dash L ls dash al all the hidden files right so it's showing you the hidden files the hidden files are have a da dot in front of them so i i usually just i like to go in ll we can also type pwd that's print working directory and that will tell us where we are so we're in home chris r um, let's confirm that we're able to SU. So if we type sudo, let's find a command we can't type. So we shouldn't be able to, let's see, IP address. Can we do that? Yes, we're able to do that. What can't we do? That's just a regular user. Uh, cat, let's see, or let's see, ls root, can I do that? There we go. Okay, so you see, as a regular user, I can't see what's in the slash root directory. But if I do sudo, so it's going to tell me, blah, 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 yeah. And then I just have to put my password in. And there you go. Anaconda. So, and we can do that again. Now look, ls. Let's do sudo ll. So it doesn't like, it doesn't like that alias. That alias won't work for that. But we can do ls dash l. And there you go. That's what's in the root directory. And we don't have permission necessarily necessarily for that, but we do because we're sudoing in using that sudo, and we're we're in the wheel group, so we're allowed to do that. Okay, the old way of getting an IP address, IP adder. That's the new way. If config, you can also type that. You can't anymore if config is gone. Never mind. So use IP adder. That gives us our IP address. There it is, 90. Um, let's see, sudo, you can do sudo su. And there, now you're root. So if you do a sudo su, you're switching user to, to root right here. And now you can just run in root. We do LL. Um, let's take a look at Etsy sysconfig network scripts. Looks like there's nothing in there. Control A to move to the front. L, L. Okay, there's nothing in there.
So it seems in this version they moved where the network scripts used to be. I'll find that for you in a little bit. Okay, so right now we have it. Let's exit out of here. Okay, so now you can see I'm back as Chris R, the user. No longer root. We've checked out ls, right? That gave us ls gives us a listing of the directory. ll gives us a little bit more detailed information. Right now, there's nothing in this directory. We can pwd print working directory, see where we are. We're at home, Chris R. We can cd, and we can cd slash, right? That's going to take us to the to the root of the file system and do an ll. Okay, so now you can see this is the root of the file system, and we have bin boot dev etsy. So Etsy is where most configuration is stored in Linux. It's very important. Home, that's where our home directories were. So if we do an LL home, and we don't have to do the slash because we're in there. You can see that. Just go LL home. That's going to give us that. Or you can, and then you can do it from anywhere. So if you do LL home right now because we're in the root and there's a home folder you don't have to put that that slash in front of it but if i was say back at home chris r and i do a ll home it's going to say there's no such file or directory but if I do an LL home, there, it's just gonna, it's gonna tell me because I'm defining exactly what I'm looking for. So generally you wanna define the exact path. It just makes it easier. You can run commands from anywhere. Okay, another, another nice feature, history. I like this, history. Look, I can see what I typed. So I can go back and say, oh, I did LS root. IP adder, if config, this is good. If I'm configuring something, what I'll do is I'll configure it and maybe go back in here, grab this and put it in a document, just stay showing how I configured it. And it helps in the, in the future when I'm, when I'm going back and I forget all about what I had done on this system, then I can, I can just go in and look. Okay, so history is a very good command. I like that one. And you can also run anything in the history by doing this. So I, if I do 22, so I'm gonna run 22, we'll run this command. Bang 22, there it is. It runs ll slash home, and there you go. So that, that's, that's great. It's a little shortcut there, makes everything a little bit easier. All right, so we've gone over, let's go back to the root, the slash, and do an LL. So we'll go into all these, these different folders and see what's in there. Uh, media, mount, opt, proc, root, run, server says temp, and your var. So var is an important one. We go into var, do an ll, and here you see this is mostly where all the logs are kept. So if you go to var log, var log, and then do a tail. So what tail does is it'll give you the last few lines of the file. So tail messages. And we can't, 
we can't open that, right? So then we have to do a sudo. And we have to put in our password. And there it is. So it's just giving us the last few lines of this file messages right here. So that's what system D has been doing. And we also have a mail log, last log, firewall D, if the firewall's on. And then there's a uh, system control. And what this shows us is what's running. Okay, so what is on, what services are on. So here you see firewall D, right? The firewall D service. So it's running. It's running right now. So it's it's actually in it's actually turned on. So that's that's good. It should be turned on. You probably want it on. But this gives you a good view and th and this system control is how you start and stop. So if I do system ctl stop Firewall D. See, I'm not allowed to stop it, right? But I can if I sudo. Now, Firewall D, let's get a status. So right here, you can see it is inactive, dead, since just a few minutes ago. So what I can do then is start it back up. Not stat, start. And so now it's uh, now it started again. There you see, active running. So that's how you're going to interact with services. And there are ways to have services start on startup, which this one is set to do. And we'll get into that. So there is, if we look here, you can see this. This is... If someone tells you to go to the root directory, there is a root directory here, but there's also the slash is also called the root, right? This is actually the root of the file system, but this is root's home, the root user's home. So if we try to go there, so do, we're gonna probably do this, cd root, LL. So it did not CD root permission denied. Let's try that. Sudo. Yeah, it's not taking us in there. Let's see what's going on there. Let's get into the root directory. PWD. See, now I'm in slash root. So that this is the roots home, and this is where all the roots, the root users files will be in a uh, Linux file system. Okay, I think that's good for this video. Um, in the next video, we'll go over some more commands and uh, getting the system ready. So thank you for watching.